Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Nayang and today I have Lee Hyori's new music video, Miss Korea, makeup inspired look to share with everybody. Um, I thought it was a very fun retro feel, a bit dramatic, but it's really fun to do. So I hope you enjoy this look and let's get started. As always, I'm using my Holka Holka Face to Change BB Roller as my base makeup. And for the eyes, I'm priming them using my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot all over the upper lid to the brow bone as well as the lower lash line. The first color is this nice shimmery purple color from Castle Dew and this is in VL331. And now all I'm doing is just patting it on all over the top lid, extending it up to the brow bone, maybe even a little above the brow bone because we want this to be an intense purple. And here I am just patting on another second layer. You may need two to three layers if you're using this type of eyeshadow to intensify the color. And getting it into the inner corner crease and smoothing out the rest. And from the ends, I'm drawing it down to the lower lash line because we want some of that purple down there as well and connecting it to the inner corners. This next shadow is a darker matter purple from my Lancome palette. And all I'm doing here is making an outer V with my fluffy brush and gradually bringing it inwards. And really drag the dark shadow upwards towards the brow bone area to make the crease look a little bit bigger and more defined. And I'm also putting some of the color uh, from the inner corners as well. Now taking MAC's Black Track Gel Liner, I'm going to start off by tight lining my top lash line. And after you do that, just extend from the end of your lash line all the way out to where your eyeshadow ends and drag it back inwards. You really want to achieve a very bold looking cat eye. And don't worry too much about the messy tracing of your eyeliner like here because you're going to go back and fill it in. And really get into the inner corners as well. Since this is a very retro type makeup, you can go back to the ends like I'm doing here and thicken the cat eye wing. And it really depends on your eye shape and how defined you want this cat eye to look. Yi Hyori makes it a little bit more um, defined and exaggerated, but I'm toning it down just a tad to make it a little bit more wearable. And here I'm fixing the ends and just defining the entire wing. And once that is done, you can go and work on the lower lash line. I'm just making a trace at the bottom where I had my lilac eyeshadow and make a sharp triangular, um, downward triangular shape and also lightly tight line the inner corners of the lower lash line. And after all of that is done, just take a little bit more of the darker shadow and shadow in the lower lash line. And that completes the entire makeup, so just go ahead and curl your lashes and apply on some mascara. This is Maybelline one by one mascara. And as a final touch, I'm just applying on some false lashes. And this is the final look. And for some subtle glow, I'm using my Chantecaille Illuminating Face Powder. Just concentrate it right down the nose bridge, as well as the cheeks. And to top it all off for the lips, take any kind of pinkish, nudie, beige tone lipstick, and this is from YSL number no. one. And once the face makeup is completed, you could put some volume in your hair to achieve the complete retro look, as well as a pair of statement earrings. And that is it for today's tutorial. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye!